Fit like a bee! Danny Min here and welcome back to another episode of F1 Manager 2022. It's time to run the last race of the season, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Now, <clears throat> I've left <clears throat> Pierre's car parts as the sort of wrecked ones. I want to see how he gets on. And I've changed Yuki's ones to have the new sort of engine ERS that he got. Now, he qualified in 17th. So it's a pretty rubbish qualifying session for him. It's pretty good for Pierre's. There were a lot of people that had uh, grid penalties throughout at least 6-7 drivers. And I want to see if those 6-7 drivers are starting from the back. Because I, I need to figure out how the penalty system works. Yuki is going to be forced to the back because we've changed his engine to the fourth one that you're not supposed to really use. But other drivers have been using car parts as well. Now, I want to see if they're at the back as well. Now, there's a Ferrari. I think there's a Haas. I think there's maybe possibly a Red Bull in there as well. But let's start the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. We've got them set up on their strategies. So, the strategies sort of look like this. Now, Pierre does have a set of softs. And I'm going to run Yuki and see if he can make any headway on that two-stop strategy. But... Let's uh, start the race and see how we get on. Last race of the season. Yeah, I would imagine it is clear skies. Now, I think we've saved just enough of Pierre's engine, gearbox, and ERS. It should be okay. It should last the rest of the race. I think once it gets to about 18%, it's pretty goosed. The engine is pretty wrecked. And we are away. <clears throat> Now, I'm just looking here, I see a Ferrari there, and another there. Yeah, they weirdly didn't get their grid penalties. Whoa, Yuki's up to 18, that's good. So whoa, what's going on? Oh, whoa, whoa, Pierre lost a place to Magnussen. Oh, he's gained it back. Very good job. Whoa, Yuki's up to 17th. He's absolutely flying. It's like he's got something to prove in this final race. Oh no, what is this? What the hell was that? What was that? Okay, keep it clean. Focus on the pace. Ah. We absolutely 100 percent just got screwed over by the AI's pathfinding. What well, sucked? Why did that happen to me? <laughs> it didn't happen to anyone else. Man, I wish they would really fix that where the, the car sort of box up. Everyone comes to a standstill and if your car isn't on the racing line or in the queue, uh, it just gets absolutely destroyed Pierre got destroyed there unfortunately he lost so many places he was in 12th I need to get past this Aston Martin I don't want to be messing around with this all right get past him uh, let's speed it up right the uh, see this is the problem they're starting to get away now which is really bad now, Yuki did good. He sort of blasted up the, the field there. Norris is an 8, so that's maybe not so good because you can gain a few points for McLaren. I think they need 8, 9, 10. No, they need like 11 points. And Daniel Ricciardo is in 19th. Okay, go, go, go. Go, Pierre. All right, I'm going to set him to neutral because hopefully he'll get in a DRS zone. Once he gets in the DRS zone, he should be able just to cruise past. There is an Alfa Romeo back here that probably had some sort of grid penalty going on as well. All right, where are the DRS zones in Abu Dhabi? Right, come on, 
Yeah, he's trying to sneak past his past. Good man. Now you need to close the gap on those two horses in front. There's been no incidents. Oh, well. He's got him back. No, no. Now I want to recruit Vettel as a driver for next season. Yeah, a few people are running the three stop here. Right, damn you, Aston Martin. Please go away. I need to get past you. Now, it's strange because your drivers get held up severely by slower cars. But their ability to just breeze past them is sort of non-existent. This has changed from the, the patch that they implemented where... Two cars out. Uh oh, that sounded like Yuki. Yuki was definitely back there. Minor rear wing damage. It's a collision. Let's have a look. Ah, damn Daniel it. Ricardo involved here. Ah, Daniel Ricciardo. The absolute plum. Oh, it wasn't actually his fault. Who was in the wrong there? Yeah, right. So you need to come in. Aerodynamics. Your gearbox was always like that. Ah oh, man, you keep doing well. What a shame. I don't really want to come in and change this. Front wing one left, car parts. Wait, I don't have another rear wing. I'm sure I do. There's tons of them. Uh, you can't replace the rear wing on a Formula 1 car. Okay, so he's going to have that damaged rear wing till the end. <clears throat> no overtaking permitted. That's okay. No DRS available. No DRS available. What percentage is the rear wing at? <laughs> minor damage. How minor? Yeah, you can change front wing. You can't change the rear wing. Forgot about that. Uh, how damaged does it actually look? Looks fine to me. Competitor penalty. Oh dear. I'm surprised Latifi isn't out. He took a fair hit. Now, Yuki will be able to run for longer on these tyres if safety car is out. Oh well. There was an incident. <laughs> and for once it wasn't actually uh, Yuki's fault. Right, you'll be able to stay out slightly longer on these as well. Oh, see, this is what this is what I mean. See this corner here. If you get caught in this inside here, everyone else just sort of sails past. I'd like them to bring out a patch that sort of removes things like that. Now, what's really unfortunate here is Yuki's got a damaged rear wing, and because of the safety car, Latifi is going to be able to catch him. And because the damage to his car has probably been repaired with that new front wing, he's going to be able to pass Yuki. That shouldn't also be a thing. Cars that take quite large hits shouldn't be able just to shake it off and then go back on the race as though nothing happened. Okay. Yeah, but the pit lane's all the way over here. Who am I on board with? Oh man, this is horrible. What is going on? I'm pretty sure you've just made an illegal overtaking maneuver there. I'm going to set that to push. I'm still going to do my... I'm going to attack and I'm going to do overtake. Right, so the safety car should be in. Now, when am I pitting? Yeah, sometime. <laughs> Tires severely overheating. They can't be because you were just going at like two miles per hour because the safety car was on the go. Uh, another driver locked up. 
Nice, that could potentially be another place. Norris locked up turn four. Let's see what happened there. Now just take a look at the McLaren. That lockup could have cost them dearly. Uh, he managed to uh, almost oh, cause an incident that. there. And Norris now in tenth. Right, stay in this inside. Don't move to the left there. The cars all bunch up quite horribly in that section. Uh, I don't think there's point setting this to overtake. We're just going to burn it down. DRS has not been enabled, but that... There's been another incident in Sector 2. Who's running wide there? Hamilton Let's running wide, the turn 13. Now watch this. Lewis Hamilton involved in this one. Yeah, it's okay. They ma managed to instantly rejoin, so no joy there. Uh, how are you looking? You know what? I'm going to set you a push, because you should be good now. Right, so come on. I need you to get up in a 13th and stay with these hasses. Which you are presently struggling to do. Set that to overtake. Now your engine is pretty dead. So is your ERS, but... Okay. Thanks, Speedy. Right, he's going for it. He was trying to go for it. He never made it. Come on, let's complete a couple overtakes there. The Hasses are starting to disappear yet again. So we're severe. We are really being held up by the Aston Martin. Right, come on, get past. There you go. And you're away. Right, that's fine. Try and regain a bit of ERS. No! It's so dumb! That's so dumb. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Yeah, it's really annoying. Uh, pit in and lap 15, 16. Vettel's on them. You know what? Just go aggressive. Oh, <laughs> really aggressive. Try and get past. Come on, you can do it. You can get past your future teammate for next season. Come on. No moves are being made here at all. Now we still are. The car, even though the car's not been developed that well, we're still way faster than these Aston Martins, but we just can't get past. This is actually pretty horrifying to watch. Yeah, even with DRS on, we're struggling. We sort of get past here, and then he'll pass us on the other side. So that to balance yet. It's really annoying this sort uh, of tit for tat overtaking. Yeah, it's just it's not a great play. It's an annoying play. Uh, please just get past him. This is really annoying. Right, so Hamlin, we've just entered the pit window. That's fine. And you know what? I'm going to set him attack on these tires. Because uh, he's going to be burning through them. We'll be coming into pit soon. Yeah, they're all down to 43%, so that's not too bad. Joe behind in the mediums is making a move. Man, so frustrating. Just cruises seamlessly past us. But we, we're struggling to get past this Aston Martin. Yeah, this is 
Right, go, go, go. Don't care if they're overheating. Just go. Safety car. Bot asses. Multiple cars crashed. I want to see this. Uh, crash involving multiple cars. Okay, so there we have the LP. Ooh. Oh no! And there's the crash. Holy crap! Mark my words, there'll be questions asked about that later. Right now, I missed the pit window. However, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, put options. Yeah, come in for your hard tires. Pit this lap. Uh, Yuki's still got a while before he needs to pit, so I'm going to leave him out. Safety car, no overtaking permitted. Signs managed to get out in front of us. Well, that's sad. Why? I know we've had a, cr a crash on track. <laughs> right, the safety car is not going to come in this lap, so that's fine. Right, Pierre is going to come in. Is anyone else going to come in? No, just Pierre. And then he's going to come out in 18th. But you should be able to catch the guys at the back. Uh, hello? game okay set you a standard tire wear i'll set you a push when the time comes that's set on harvest you're okay safety car in this lap okay. and then all the guys in mediums are going to be pitting and we won't have to pit well we will later okay so two cars out Safety car is coming in, and we are off. Right, so we're set to push. That's set to standard tire wear. Let's set that to overtake. Yuki's now in 14th, which is pretty awesome. He didn't conserve much of his tires. They are probably possibly taking more wear due to his wing damage. But you can hold out now a little longer. So that's fine. Right, come on, Gasly. Struggling dearly yet again to get past this Aston Martin. There's been an incident in Sector 3. Gearbox showing a bit of wear, that's fine. Now Albon is just in front of Yuki. Yeah, that was pretty awful, actually. <laughs> right. Actually, stay with Gasly. Let's see if Gasly can move up the field. He is trying. He's trying really hard. So did Ocon not take damage from that incident with Bottas? I don't actually know. He's still on 15th. This is weird because Yuki started in last and he's 14th and you, Gazi started 12th and now he's 18th. There is an event. There is an event. Right, for the love of God, get past this Aston Martin. Nope, you're just gonna stay there. Okay, that's, that's cool, that's cool. S stay in last, that's fine. Now they're going to be pitting soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yuki can run a little bit longer on those mediums, and I'm going to do that. Oh. Is there some way? You are the last to. Are you okay? Driver crashed. What happened here? Now let's look at this. The focus on Sonoda. There's the crash. It says he locked up. He's absolutely binned the car. Fucking hell, man. What the hell is going on? 
Alright. It's the last race of the season. Worst race of the season. Gosley's <laughs> moved up a ton of places. Which is awesome. Safety car is out. Everyone is pitted though, so that's a problem. They're all gonna go flying past on their shiny. Okay, safety car in this lap. Sit out to neutral. Keep that on push. <coughs> I was just seeing how well Yuki was doing, and then he completely screws it up. This game loves to throw you a curveball. That's okay, now I only have one driver to focus on. Right, so safety car is going to be in this lap. We need to get past Stroll. Set that to overtake. We're keeping that. Well, Leclerc is going to be trying to get past us. I've got one, one whole kilo of extra fuel. I don't think I've ever had one whole kilo of extra fuel in a race before. Now, you're supposed to be pitting in lap 40. I don't think we need to pit him at all. I think we can run Pierre right to the end here. Along with the guys that were on the medium setup. Okay. Uh, we're still on 7th. Again, we cannot get past the Sasta Martin. We are trying. Thing is, we're holding up these potential front runners here. Guys that should be way up there. Yeah, that Ferrari is trying. You stay. You stay in the back there. It's fine. Man, how is... How is... Uh, Stroll managing to get away from us here? Oh, well. I thought he was getting away. Perhaps not... Right, where's DRS zone? You can see quite badly how the Aston Martin's holding everyone up. Was that not a DRS zone? I thought it was. This is though. Getting DRS off the Williams in front. Oh, ooh! <laughs> that was a brave challenge there, Pierre. I will commend you for that. I thought he was just gonna dive straight in the inside there and tag the back of Stroll's car. I would imagine Charles Leclerc is getting very frustrated presently. I would be. Oh my god, Stroll managed to get past the Williams. Can I get past the Williams? That would be nice. You see the massive gap there is now between 5th uh, and the guys in the top 4? Now we're not a million times faster than them, but we are faster. Yeah, he is defending furiously there. He needs to just give it up. I am probably going to run out ERS as well, which is unfortunate. Right, please get past the Williams. Come on, you can do it. You can get past this Williams. Now, Charles Leclerc is going to get the inside of you, and you did not get past the Williams. Oh my god, I thought he was going to run into the back of the Williams there. 
Down to P8. Well, that's fantastic. So we're not making any headway at all. We can't catch a car that is slower than us on better tyres. So yeah, it's pretty chucked. I think the car is really suffering from my poor development over the season. Because I, I really didn't know what the hell I was supposed to be doing. Now I do. Uh, I know how to develop a good car. And I'll be doing that in Season 2. Yeah, we are now holding everyone else up here. Uh, when am I supposed to pit? Yeah, a long time away. Now, it's still pretty interesting. We're not harvesting anything. We are keeping that Haas and the Mercedes of George Russell behind us. I don't understand how I can't get past this Williams, though. See, Charles Leclerc is now off. See? <laughs> past the Aston Martin. Yeah, he's defending wildly. I mean, it would be great to see the Williams finishing with some points, but... His tyres are not going to last. He's going to have to pit anyway at some point. We might be able to hold out here. And I am burning through that fuel. To so one, we're slightly faster and we're shedding a lot more weight. Maybe that extra kilo of fuel was really uh, making us suffer. <laughs> right. Come on. Wait. The the Williams passed the Aston Martin? How is this happening? What is going on? <laughs> it could be that our engine is pretty dead as well. Uh, we've got some minor wear on the engine. I don't know what the state of everyone else's powertrains is etc is in but I know ours is bad yeah we're basically in free fall here where everyone is starting to pass us oh god we're still stuck behind this Williams right go for overtake I will allow you to use the last of your ERS to get past this guy The thing is, if we get past him and he starts holding up some of the guys behind, that'll be fine. But that ain't what's happening at the moment. Alright, go, 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 go. He's in the inside. He's through. Alright, I'm going to keep you on overtake and I need you to catch up with that Aston Martin. And then get past them. It sure is. Well done, Gasly. Uh, I'm going to set that to neutral for a while. It depends how fast Alonso and Magnussen get past the Williams. Right, so we are approaching tyre change time in another 10 laps. There's still another 28 laps to go. Wait, wait, stop, stop. Why did you take so long to pass the Williams? But then in the space of a lap, you just absolutely destroyed the pair of them. What is going on? Right, that's fine. If the Aston Martin starts holding up, the other two, that'll be nice. That'll give us a little bit of a chance to get away. I think the Aston Martin's going to get taken down here, though. Yeah, Alonso's on the attack. Ah, oh, I was waiting for the inevitable, inevitable tire lockup sound and then the crunch, but it never came. <laughs> Holy crap! See how fast he just blitzed through us there? That's insane. That's a good overtake from Alpine. It is. He's just passed like four cars. 
in the space of two laps. Again, different breed of driver. Faster car. Don't know what his powertrain and that is like. Could be really good. He might be on a new engine and have started at the back. I didn't really notice where Alonso actually started. Uh, we're at 67%. Yeah, you're not going to be able to make these last to the end of the race. So everyone else is going to pit as well, right? Pretty sure. Right, come on now, stay ahead of the Haas. No, no, no. That's dumb. <laughs> Haas with an overtake. Right, let's four times speed it. So yeah, Perez is probably going to pass us as well. So we are going to be out of the points. Now I want... To speed it up to the point where people start to pit. I'm probably going to be one of the people that pits first. I don't know why your tire wear is so high. It's on standard, same as everyone else. Yeah, Perez has passed. We've now got Norris coming down on us. And we're only lap 35. Could be that we're suffering, or suffering really bad at the hands of these tires. Yeah, we've got 10th, 11th, 12th. Everyone is sort of right there. We've just entered our pit window. Okay, keep it going. Uh, I am going to pit on lap 40. That is when I'm supposed to pit. And just before we do... Oh, man. What is going on? <laughs> the car is just so slow. <laughs> yeah, we lost two places there. Right, screw it. Let's just 16 times speed it until lap 40. There's been an incident in sector... I'm sure I'd said two and then changed to one, right? Yellow flag. How big of an incident was it? You're not going to tell me. Like Vettel crashed in turn five. This was the Aston Martin. That crash is terrible news for the team. Safety car? I would take a safety car right now. No, no safety car. Oh, well. He's still in the race. Right, where are you? Lap 12. You know what? Burn through them for the moment. Because we're going to change them anyway. Some others are in the pits coming out on mediums. Uh, I'm going to ignore that for the second for the moment and then I'm gonna do it because I wasn't sure if he was gonna pit right there uh, so yeah we're coming back out on mediums pit this lap and then I wonder if some of the others will have to pit later Hamilton's in the pits right so Gasly's coming in in 12th Mick Schumacher is in. Ha, we actually managed to get out ahead of Mick Schumacher. Right, come on, come on, come on. Because I need to set this back to standard tire wear. And let's jump back on and take stock of where we actually are. So Latifi came out on soft. We probably could have done the same. There is 16 laps left to go. Many people are out. Uh, Alex Albon is probably going to have to come in. He's about there. Safety car. Ooh. Oh no, it's not good. I don't want a safety car. Safety car deploy. Safety car deploy. 
And make sure you stay positive. Follow the reference. Uh, okay. How long is safety car gonna last? Because I might come in for softs. Nah, it's okay. Just go. The other guys are gonna pit. Who actually crashed? There's been a crash. <laughs> Let's take Magnuson a crashed in turn oh, five. So That's where our Vettel crashed. <gasps> oh, exact nice same spot, there. but we didn't get a safety car for Vettel's incident. Compared to ran away, that's nice. Right, Vettel got past. The safety car is slowing down. So Vettel is back on the lead lap. Gasly managed to get past some of the other drivers. Yeah, everyone came in for soft. Okay, this is bad. Although the, the safety car should end quickly. There you go, safety, safety car on this lap. This lap. This lap. So some of them are at 80. Yeah. 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 laps on, the, on those soft tires. Some of them do have fresh sets. Right, safety cars coming in. Oh, Magnuson is out. Oh, it's unfortunate. Right, let's have a look. Set at to burn. Let's go. Let's lift off, please. They're now way high. And this is recharged, so set it to overtake if we can. Overtake available. The guys in the soft are good, possibly going to start pulling away. Who's behind? Uh, Albon. Well, that's fine. <laughs> There's no, not really any heavy hitters back here that are. Don't go to that side. God damn it. I hate when it does that. Okay, I don't think leaving it an overtake is such a great idea. They're going to get away. Now, our only saving grace might be that these things, the guys that are on used softs, that they deteriorate so quickly that they start to lose a ton of grip. We're already seeing some of them down at 75%. I mean, Joe might actually be okay, because he was on a, a fresh set. He's still at 90% on that tire wear. Alright, here we go. I'm actually going to 4 times speed it. 16 times speed it. Okay, that's great. DRS is enabled, you've just told me that. Thank you, game. Gasly got passed by Albon. Well, that's bad. Because he's going to hold us up. And he is holding us up. Oh my god. <sighs> Overtake. You need to get past him, because if these guys start to suffer, and if you're stuck behind this idiot, you won't be able to catch any of them. I'm going to set this to attack, full attack on him. Alright, just get past, come on. We're on lap 50, there's only 8 laps left to go. This is set to overtake, right? It is. No! Stop this nonsense defending! You're too slow. Go away. There you go. Excellent. Now I'm going to set out to defend. Alpha Tower, regained a place. Right, so that's, you're starting to cook them a bit. Set out to standard. Right, we're in 11th. Norris is starting to slow up. Yeah, Joe is flying past everyone. As predicted. Right, 
Yeah, 54%. And there's still a long way to go with seven laps. The problem is that Alex Albon is still at 70% on his tires. And they are proven useful for him. Right, keep an eye on your fuel. Are we actually gaining on those guys in front? I think we are. Yeah, I can see them now. I could not see them before. I'm looking back here. That's fine. <laughs> I don't think defending with the ERS setting is as bad as like overtake or deploy. It still says minus two, but it doesn't seem that bad. I think you, oh, I was going to say, I think you're potentially far enough away so that you, he won't be an issue, but he's right there. Oh yeah, guys are in the pits. Oh, Alonso is going to get back out, unfortunately. Ahead of us. No, he's not. What is going on? There's only five laps to go. No, go away. Why? And there's an overtake from Williams. I mean, I, I do actually want to see Williams gain a couple of points. That would be interesting. Perez is right there, though, so we're going to get knocked out of the points. He should be right there. There he is. Yeah, these guys here are hanging on. Are we actually gaining? Yes. DRS there coming in clutch. Now we can get right back behind him. Man, that, that Red Bull is just so fast. Right, get on to lap 55. Right now we're on lap 55, and that's fine. And at 50, at lap 56, I might just tell him to go for it. So 56, no, no, at lap 57, I'll open up everything, basically. We're going to get passed by the Red Bull here, or perhaps not. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. Didn't even see you there. The mirrors. <laughs> Do a dynamic uh, reflections there. <laughs> Yeah, moved up two places. Safety car, really? Really? If I had held that... If I had held that position... Safety car, safety car. If I had held that position, we would have got a point. Wait, other people are pitting. Why? The race is going to end. We're going to finish in a safety car. Latifi is out. Actually, I want to see this. Now we see the Williams here. He's all alone. They've lost control and there's That's the crash. where Yuki crashed. Ha! <laughs> Gasly moved up to eighth, but we're gonna finish probably under a safety car. Well that was really weird. Oh no, the Williams pitted as well. You should have stayed out. You'd have been fine. Uh, right, so... Oh man, other people are pitting. Ah, uh, it's okay. They managed to get out before we could get going. Okay, safety car in this lap. Oh, really? Okay. Oh. What lap are we on? Okay, so we're literally going to be on the last lap. Okay, so attack, uh, push, and defend. There you go. <laughs> Stay in eighth. 
<laughs> oh man, Nora's pitted as well. He'd have been fine. Okay. Oh man, I'm nervous. Like, really nervous. Now, there's no DRS. Oh my god, what happened? Right, so we're absolutely shredding the tires. We're using all of our fuel. There's no DRS, so it's going to be difficult for them to pass unless he does something stupid like that. Right, where are you? <laughs> Why did everyone pit? You would have been fine on your... Uh... Now, I'm sitting here laughing. We could still crash here. Another driver's across the lane. That's fine, because we're going to be across the lane. An eighth! <laughs> what a weird race! It's definitely the weirdest race I've ever run. Crosses the line first. He's taken the win. <laughs> You know what? I'm actually quite happy with that. Well, this weekend, Pierre Gasly flew us to the stars. Did he? <laughs> he just got lucky. Because everyone else pitted for some weird reason. Pitted for no reason. This was well deserved for Alpha Town. Yeah, everyone's really happy for the eighth place. Yeah, Pierre moved up four places. Ha! <laughs> that was so weird. How many people were out? Oh yeah, one, two, whoa. No, Nicholas Latifi stayed out, I think. No, he didn't, he crashed right then. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. It's the most cars I've seen go out. And uh, Alcon was extremely lucky to stay out as well. There you go, Pierre Gasly got a couple of points there. Right, where did he finish in the drivers? He finished 10th. And he is above most of the people that he should probably be above. And in the constructors, we've got an extra four points. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go, fast. We've got a fastest lap, though. Wait, where's off Tari? There we go, fastest lap. And we've got a pole position. Because of a weird weather defect. Alright, continue. Yeah, Yuki didn't get anything because he, well, he had a boo-boo. Uh, I should have got all my race, the thingies there, because I think 12th. Okay, Yuki did get a development point. I don't really want to give it to him. But yeah, that's the end of the first season. Now, next weekend, we're going to get straight into the second season. Uh, there's a lot of things I have to do. I have to rehire the drivers, take a new drivers, or maybe swap some uh, staff members around. Uh, we have the board performance review as well. So we'll do that at the start of the next the season. What we'll do is uh, we'll go through like the preseason. I'll do the qualifying and practice offline. And then we'll hit up the, the first race, which is where? can't remember. I, I, I genuinely can't remember. Circuits? I'll be in circuits. Bahrain. Okay. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, well, we're getting the board review. Right, target position was sixth. Final position was sixth. Long-term objective. Secure podiums in 25%. Current progress zero. Six. Target season 2025. Seasons remaining three. End of season board review. Team rating. Wait, what? Best driver position was 10th. Gasly. Constructors Championship 6. Team rating. 497. Established 497. So this didn't move at all. Is that true? Team rating is getting up there. Board confidence is high. Team bonus. 15... Uh, 1.5 million. Okay, right. Inbox. 
tour centers in poor condition, regulation changes, lots of stuff to sort of go through. Uh, with the new season approaching, I wanted to give you front and rear jacks, improves the speed. 68 down, uh, what is going on here? All this gets reduced, really? With the new season approaching, I'd like to give you an update on why you might be seeing a lower performance from our pit crew. Between new regulations, pit crew getting a little rusty, and our more experienced members leaving the team and getting replaced, a performance drop between seasons is inevitable. I'll attach a report. What? This is so bad. So I've lost 9 there, 10 there, another 10 there, and another 9 in car release. Oh my god, that's so bad. Set at the front and rear. I'll get that back up to whatever it was. Man, that sucks. Gonna hire a better pit team. Right, I'm gonna change out quite a lot of these. Uh, that I am. But we'll do that at the start of the next season. So as always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you'd like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. But I've been Danny Men, this has been F1 Manager 2022, and I will catch you later.